there guys, my name is Coach Shardongster Born, but built for theme park news and welcome to um, a channel update, I haven't done one for a while and today was absolutely necessary to do a channel update today and to use this platform in a positive way to inspire you guys to do something about current situations, um, sorry, um, this is, this is hard, I'm not going to lie, this is a hard video to make because um, it's the second time we've gone through this, or we're going to go through it, uh, because as of Thursday, we're going into, for the full month of November, so from Thursday onwards until the 2nd of December, we're going to the second UK national lockdown. And it's tough with this situation because on the one hand, a national lockdown will keep everybody safe. It's going to keep everyone safe from the virus unless you go out and it's absolutely essential. Um, and, you know, you only go out and it's absolutely essential. The negative side of a lockdown is people's mental health, um, people trying to get out of abusive relationships, you know, how, you know being in lockdown, you know, how the, you know, people may not feel they might be able to speak about things and they may be able to escape from things that they want to escape from but they just don't have the courage inside they feel like they're broken there's so much negatives that go with the lockdown but the positives is it keeps the virus under control again because the cases have been rising day in day out and um you know i mean that vlog from yorkshire wildlife park that we did a few days ago that is the last vlog of this year from an attraction because that's it you know there might be you know we might continue this lockdown in December you never know but I think in December I don't think I'm going to be going anywhere um, I was planning on going to that winter illuminations at Yorkshire Wildlife Park again but well first time this year but you know I don't think that's gonna happen now because it's between November and December and that's probably gonna get cancelled and I'm alright with that I'm alright with that I would rather stay in lockdown and I would rather be part of lockdown and be part of the solution, not the problem, than rather risk myself to go somewhere else. And Yorkshire Wildlife Park's going to close. Everywhere else is going to close. That's non-essential. And, um, you know, that's all right. That's all right. That's, that's not a problem to me. The main problem for me is making sure we stay together as a community, as a, as a family. This whole, the whole entire planet Earth is a family. We stay together as a family and we beat this virus. The only way we can do that is to stay home, protect the NHS and save lives. And I've, I've done this message before. I've done this message before. It was a let's keep everyone safe message. I've done this video before. I felt like saying it again because to some people out there, and you know the reason why we're going into a national lockdown again is because cases have been rising and you know no matter who's at fault you know we, we could sit here and say this person's at fault this person's at fault this person's at fault but i don't want to start pointing fingers at people and saying it's your fault it's your fault it's your fault i'm not that type of person this is not that type of channel we are not politics channels we are not blaming people channels we are a influencer channel about theme parks but when it comes to messages like this I'm not gonna blame people live on camera I'm just going to say right it's happened you know people can blame whoever they want on the outside it's fair enough that's their opinion it's all right everyone's entitled to their own opinion freedom of speech but my job as an influencer is to encourage you guys to stay home protect the NHS save lives and the sooner we get this virus under control, and then as soon as we get the virus out of our lives for good, the better our chance is going to be of becoming a virus-free society and living, and living without restrictions. If you want that, be part of the solution, not the problem. Because if we be the solution, we could set an example to other countries that may be going through worse times and people may not listen to the rules and governments may not do different things. We could be an example, but that's only if we stay together, we absolutely follow the rules. We 100% follow the rules because the, 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 the sooner we follow the rules, the quicker our lives will be going back to some kind of normality virus free. And... 
you know, 2021 will hopefully be the year we are virus free. Some point in that year, we will hopefully be virus free. And we can only do that if we all stay together, protect the NHS, save lives, stay at home. That's the message. That is the message from Thursday up until the 2nd of December. I'm not going to, like, comment on all the politics about the national lockdown. I'm not going to comment and say, oh, why, why is it going on Thursday? Why isn't it coming in now? I'm not that type of person. I'm the type of person that will just take it as it is, follow the rules, stay home, protect the NHS, save lives. And the sooner we do that, the quicker we can live virus free. It, it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. So I wanted to use today as a little update just to give you guys the encouragement because... As a community, we stood together. We stood together during the first lockdown. We adapted to a new way of life. You know, and again, I'm going to quote what the diversity said in their dance routine on Britain's Got Talent in the first semi-final. Sometimes we have to get sick, my boy, before we feel better. That's what it was. And in a way, I get it. Because the life before the virus was toxic at times it was full of um you know administration it was full of people losing their jobs it was through um terror attacks everything under the sun happened to this world virus came along and it somehow it brought a community spirit in out of us it brought us a new spirit and i think that we've brought in this new spirit we can do it again you know Look at the inspiring people that came, that not, not just before this, but came through this virus as well and through this lockdown and through different things. Clear example, Marcus Rashford MBE, giving free school meals, you know, making sure kids had free school meals and then other people, councils, um, other clubs, players got involved to pay for free school meals for kids that go hungry. Those are the heroes, the people on the front line, the NHS on the front line working day in day out with covid patients on ventilators and on the verge of death and helping with the families that lose a loved one they're the heroes and this second lockdown i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm not gonna lie to you it is gonna be hard it's gonna be hard but again just like the first one if we all pull together through this we could be that community again we could show that community spirit through the first lockdown. You know, don't hate, just follow. Because if you hate, you're solving a problem with a problem. If you be positive, if you show community spirit, if you help the best way and the safest way you can, that's a problem being solved with a solution. And then there's no need to solve problems with problems. And that's the way the world should work. You don't solve problem with a problem. You don't solve hate with more hate. You solve a problem and hate with positivity and community spirit. And it wasn't just through the virus. We did this same thing. We solved hate with positivity. We did that through the Paris attacks, through the Manchester attack. We did it through the London terror attacks. You know, we did it through all of that. We did it through the floods. We did it through other disasters in other countries we helped pay respect we keep hashtagging end SARS all the violence in Nigeria we have we are helping to develop the situations and we can do that again throughout the second lockdown we've got it in us we just need to find it and we don't need to hate we just need to be positive so my cries to you guys watching Share this with every other person in the world. Share it. Because everyone needs to see this. And other people will do videos like this where we need to share these videos. Because these videos, these messages of support and encouragement to stay home, protect the NHS, save lives, stay safe. You know, these are important messages. And this was, you know... This is, the, this is what makes the, this the best of the YouTube community. When we all pull together, we don't show hate. We just show positivity and encouragement to encourage people and influence people because that's what we are. I'm a social media influencer. Simon is si uh, uh, social media influencers. Jack Septikai is a social media influencer. Mr. Beast. Um, Calux. Um, Calfreezy. 
um, Logan and Jake Paul. You know, it doesn't matter whether you like someone or hate someone. If they're showing messages of encouragement to encourage you guys to stay safe, stay home, protect the NHS, save lives, or, you know, whether, whether you're American or not, if they're encouraging you to follow the rules and not ignore them, they are the best of humanity. And people like Marcus Rashford, people like the NHS workers, they are the key people that are providing something good for this world. And we need to start sharing this stuff around, create a positive environment, because if we go into this lockdown with a negative environment, it's just going to get worse. And like I said, the second lockdown is going to be tough. There's going to be people with mental health problems. There's going to be people with um, trying to get out of abusive relationships. And it's going to be hard during lockdown. It's going to be so, so hard. But if we pull together, if we give money to charities, if we give money to domestic abuse helplines to help people call out, reach out, get away from the situation in the safest way possible, then we could create a better future for the next generation when I have kids, other people have kids. We can create a better future because in 10, 15 years time, I don't want a baby son growing up wearing a mask. I don't want that for him or her or having a baby daughter and having her wear a mask from like age six upwards. I don't want that to be the case in the long term. I do not want that. So the sooner we do it and the sooner we come together as a, as a planet, let alone a community, the better um so i mean i don't really want to plug anything in this video because it was just a message to encourage you guys to follow the rules um but i do have more videos coming today so stay tuned if you want to but this message is all about just showing support for the people that are struggling through this and that's going to struggle through lockdown so christmas isn't going to be easy I mean, you know, even if this lockdown is just going to be through November and December, we get back to some kind of normality where the virus is under control, cases are low, and they're allowing people to come home for Christmas. Christmas will still be a difficult one this year for some people because they'll have lost loved ones before Christmas and they'll be remembering them on Christmas Day. For families, it's going to be tough. But if we show support and, you know, just selfless acts of kindness just unselfish acts of kindness just every now and then just makes the world a better place and that's what we need to be for the next generation make the world a better place and change the situation from what was left to us that we could leave to the next generation so that's going to be it for this message. Uh, like I said, I've got more videos to come today, so stay tuned for all of them. But the main premise of this video was stay home, protect the NHS, and please to God, save lives. Thank you very much, guys. My name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill-tastic day. I'm not, I'm not